Well, hello, my YouTube family. Yes, I know, right? A color that you haven't seen in a stone's age. What? The color. My color. The color that I am wearing today. We all know. From head to toe, baby. From head to toe. Yes, headbands, sweater, even red pants, honey. Ooh, yes. You would think I came from hell. Because I'm that hot. Really, Nancy? Really? And the color of the day. Say it with me. Red. Yes! Yes, today is the color of red. I just felt like, you know, giving the nudes and browns a break because that's all that's left in that bag are nudes and browns. I, you know, I could break it up. I could break it up every now and then, especially when you start getting tired. You know, it's like, okay, I've done the nudes. I'm I'm over my nudes now, but I still got a whole hell of a lot of nudes left. So it is Thursday. That's why I'm so happy because I've just got one more day to go, sweet Jesus in heaven. Let me hang in there, people. Let me hang in there. You heard? Okay. All right. So let us start off with the liner as we always do. It is Milani Color Statement Lip Liner. And the color is Bordeaux. There you go. Bordeaux. Aligned and filled. Look at this lusciousness. What? Oh, yes. Oh, it is one of the Maybelline Color Sensationals. Maybelline Color Sensational Lipstick, number 630. Red Revolution. Yes, indeedy do. Red Revolution. Right up in here. And here is Red Revolution. Oh, my heavenly sweet Jesus. Look at this. Yes, Red Revolution. Indeedy do. And this is, whoop, sweet Jesus. Red Revolution. Now, it is a red. But I'm talking, it's just got a droplet. Oh whisper of pink in there so yeah it's not like a um cherries in the snow no 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 this one's just got a a, a breath of, of cherry in there like not a cherry of pink it's not a 100 percent true red you know what i mean so there you go there you go Still blue based though, still a blue based red, but not a full red red. Okay, so that takes care of that. Um, so finally, uh, my department decides to put me to work. Like, you know, give me some something juicy and to, that I can sink my teeth into. You know, seeing that they want me to participate more and all. Now, those of you who have been with me for quite some time, you remember Scanner? You remember my scanning situation way back when, a few years ago? This isn't a scanning situation, but it's still the binders that I have to deal with. Remember those big fat ass binders that I was telling you about way back when? They have come back to haunt me again, again. Yes. So there's a project that we have to clean these books up for auditors because you know auditors are going to be coming back by again real soon. Apparently like real soon. Um, And there are four these thick ass, big fat ass binders of paperwork that thankfully not every single sheet in these binders have to be photocopied, but I was sent a uh, an Excel spreadsheet 
of a list of names that I have to look through in the book. And those names have to be photocopied so I could put them in a folder and keep the originals in the binders. Now, new girl says to me as she's covering for me for lunch today because she's doing, she's like making up for Hop Along for when Hop Along covered for me on Monday. Okay. So she comes to me. Now, it was, it, she usually covers for me. When she covers, she covers for me from 2 to 2.30. But she decided to come at like 2.12 or 2.13 or something. So it was almost 2.15. Uh, she tells me, now remember, I go to lunch at between 2 and 2.15. So she came closer to 2.15. So I had all that morning. She comes to me and she tells me, do you mind if you help us with the project? And then she goes and she proceeds to tell me about this project. Now, immediately I'm thinking to myself, how long did you know about this project? And why didn't you tell me about it earlier this morning or at least last night? To, so I could start it this morning. And she proceeds to tell me that, oh, by the way, yeah, it, it kind of needs to be due by tomorrow afternoon. Now, I know working with these binders in the past, this is an all week process. You want this done in half of today. You could have given it to me earlier in the morning. I would have been at least halfway finished. No, you proceed to tell me halfway in the afternoon and you're going to tell me it's due tomorrow? She must have realized the ridiculousness of it all because um, I gave her a look like, I said, oh, tomorrow? This is going to be due tomorrow? That's that's a big project to be due in one day. So, <laughs> so I proceed to go to lunch. And I'm not even thinking twice about it because when I get done, I get done. Okay. If you want the job done right, you don't give it to me a day and a half before the project is due. What happened to Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday? You're going to give it to me Thursday and not even Thursday morning. You're going to give it to me Thursday afternoon, late afternoon. And then tell me that it's due tomorrow. So I came back from lunch and I was expecting to see the box because she's got the binders. I was expecting to see the binders at my desk so I could at least get it started. No, no binders. So I said, OK, well, th you know, thank you for covering for me. And she goes, yes, I'm, I'll, I'll get to, uh, you know, I'll give you the rest of the material. I'll email you the, the spreadsheet of the names that you need to look up and I'll give you uh, the binders. So I'm thinking she's going to go back immediately and get the binders and come back. She emails me the spreadsheet. I look at the list of names. I look at the list and I'm thinking to myself, oh, you think this is going to be done in a day? Not if I was Superman, this thing would not be done in a day. Okay. So I wait. I wait, I wait, 20 minutes go by, 20 minutes that I could have started the project, 20 minutes go by before she decides to give me the books. And here's the kicker. She gives me the last, but she had, she had to make two trips because these binders are really, really big and I couldn't leave my desk because the phones were going crazy. She comes back with the last two books and then she says, you know, you can take your time with the books because, you know, it's a really big project. And I'm thinking to myself, you're damn straight. I can take my time. Say what? So I said, oh, OK, good. That's good. That's good. I said, I'm going to get right on it. And I, I immediately started the job. Here is another thing that pissed me off. These binders, you know, they're broken up alphabetized, alphabetized wise. A through L, M through so-and-so, and it's your Y through Z, and so on and so forth. 
well, not so on and so forth. You know, they're broken up in four different binders. I'm getting to the letter D. I've already done A, B, C. Fine. Get to the letter D. Why is Dion, D-E-O-N, the first name, and then the second name is Daly, D-A-L-Y? And then the third name is Daughtry, and the last name is D'Angelo. And I'm like, oh, hell to the no. You're going to tell me that the D's are not alphabetized? So I had to stop the project because I didn't want to miss any names. And as I'm alphabetizing and I'm, I'm who signing in a major way, she, new girl, comes in. And she wanted to stop by and get some candies because I brought in some candies. And she said, oh, I need it. I need a, a, My sweet tooth is kicking in. I said, this book is a hot mess. I, I just went right through it. I didn't even say help yourself. I just said, this book is a hot mess. She goes, yeah, I know. I really tried alphabetizing. I said, you didn't alphabetize this, did you? Because <laughs> she said, oh, no, no, I tried. But, you know, it was stopping me from doing what I had to do. And I said, oh, OK, because now the project is really going to be slowed down because I have to alphabetize these. So I won't mess up and miss a name that's on the list. And if I miss a name, that's going to be on me and I'm not having that. So I'm going to alphabetize this right now. And then I will continue with what I have to do. She goes, oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I said, oh, OK. Just know that the project has, has slowed down a bit because because it's not alphabetized properly. And she goes, yeah, I, I know. Now, I understand her point. I'm not blaming her for not having it alphabetized because these books have been around before she was even hired. Granted, but whoever did these books didn't give a rat's ass about alphabetizing them. They just put like D's, D's and E's and, you know, they, they didn't bother to alphabetize the D's. They just said, oh, D, 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 and then just put it in the book. But you give me a list that's alphabetized, so I, I'm assuming that the book is alphabetized. Oh, no. Big assumption, Nancy. Big assumption. Oh, no. So I had to stop the project to alphabetize the Ds. And I, did, I, I only stopped at D. Because by the time I was done with D, it was like 531. Like, I had surpassed my time. I was like, oh, it's going to be like that now. Okay. So at 5, like 33, 533. I stopped. I finished the D's. I finished alphabetizing every single one. But I said, I'm not going to continue on because I'm not getting overtime. So um, I called her up and I said, OK, I'm done with the project for now. Um, I'll continue tomorrow morning. And she said, OK, I'm going to come and take the books back because we can't have them out, you know, out in the open because it's, it's like confidential information on employees and stuff. So I said, OK, fine. So I helped her. I shut the switchboard off and I helped her. You know, I don't even remember if I turned off the TV. I think I did. I hope I did. You know, I'm, just, I'm too tired. I'm, I'm just too tired. I uh, I just realized, I'm, I'm thinking now, I'm like, did I turn off the TV? I hope I did. I could have just walked out and left the TV on. I don't know. Um, I'll know tomorrow. In any event, um, by the time we got the books back, she had to put them in the in the, the the drawer thing and lock the drawer. And I said, tomorrow morning when I come in, you know, I'll come and you know we'll do it all over again. She said, okay, thank you so much. I really appreciate your help. And I said, not a problem. I'm here to help, which I am. I'm glad they're using me because you know they have no other choice in the matter. So that was taken care of. I'm just, you know, at least it's going to make the day go by. It could have made the day go by a lot faster had you given this to me at around 9.15, 9.30. But you give it to me, like, after I come back from lunch, and you're talking about, oh, this needs to be due tomorrow? Not on my best day. What? <sighs> okay, so... 
at least I've got work waiting for me. That's it. That's all. That, that's really all. That's that's really all. Okay, so that is it. That is all. Oh, and then tomorrow, I really can't stay late no matter what because I have to drive a co-worker home. Remember that? So you may or may not see me because I could be coming home, I don't know, now. It's 6.32 now. I don't know. I could be on my way home now. And you know, by the time I get home, I may not want to do shit. Okay. So we'll see. It may be my last day of the week to see you. Tomorrow may be the last day of the week. I don't, I don't know. All I know is, you know, sometimes you try to understand why things work the way they do. And you just realize the organization, there is no such thing as organization. I just. Anyway, that's it. That's all. Um, I keep saying that's it. That's all. But I keep thinking I have something to talk to you about. Okay. In uh, Real Housewives of New York. What? Oh, my goodness. Dorinda and Bethany and... Uh, What's her name? Chick that got new boobs now? Uh, Ramona. Bethany is telling Dorinda that you're trying to sell your boyfriend to us, and I don't understand why. And that's for another day. I have to go to the bathroom now. I have to, you know, I'm like, Plant, doing a little dance. That's why you've been seeing me fidget, fidget on my chair. I have to go to the bathroom to to take up it. Okay, I know that's TMI, but you're my family, so I'm going to cut this rather short, and we'll discuss either tomorrow or Monday, whatever. If I don't see you tomorrow, have an awesome, awesome weekend. And if I do see you tomorrow, we'll discuss. Okay. I love you. I love my YouTube family. Hit me up. Let me know what you think. I have done a lip look on this before. So if you want to take a gander, but it is one of those lovely reds, honey. Oh, it's one of those lovely reds. Yes, I'm loving this red. Yes. Okay. That's it. I love you. Have a wonderful weekend again if I don't see you. And I'll tell you to have a good weekend if I see you tomorrow. Yes, it's as simple as that. I love you. Mwah! Bye now.